From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. It may officially be spring, but winter returns tonight with a vengeance. I'm Power 5 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. We started off with tips close to 60, but they will crash to the 20s tonight. And that means all that rain out there will switch to snow. Some of it will likely accumulate overnight. So watch out for some slick, slippery roads late tonight and early Sunday. Mike and Tracy. Ramesha, thanks. Here's a look at today's top stories. I'm Mike Brookbank. Hello, everybody. I'm Tracy Carlos. Niles police in Trumbull County say an officer was exposed to some kind of drug when he was trying to help a woman who overdosed at the wheel this week. According to a police report, he started feeling lightheaded and nauseous after holding her ID card. The woman later admitted she cut the drugs with that card. She's now facing several charges. Ohio lawmakers will pick gas tax negotiations back up on Monday after they failed to come to an agreement this week. Things broke down on Friday when the Senate rejected a deal between the governor and the state house to raise the gas tax 11 cents per gallon and the tax on diesel fuel by 20 cents. That means they will miss a Sunday deadline. And this is pretty cool. An Indianapolis man has been reunited with his beloved 1969 Corvette Stingray. 44 years after it was stolen, Rex Hatton says Ohio State Police called him to tell him the car turned up right here in Cleveland. He says his car went missing in 1974 and this week after months of dealing with the insurance company, he finally has it back. Good looking ride. For the latest news and weather, go to News5Cleveland.com or just open the News5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.